Hello, my name is Jose Pablo and I'm a physical therapy assistant student at the Miami Dade College. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to measure the range of motion for the external rotation of the shoulder. Uh, Thomas is going to help me how to demonstrate that. Okay, Thomas, come with me. Lay down, please, supine, you know, with your face up. So, first thing is to place the patient in the starting position, which is uh, uh, the, start, the testing position. The testing position should be the patient supine with the shoulder adopted 90 degree and the elbow flexed 90 degree. So then I'm going to uh, move the patient to the available range of motion. I'm going to determine the end field, which is firm, and I'm gonna make a visual estimation of the motion. Uh, the visual estimation is gonna be like 92 degrees. So I'm gonna return the patient to the starting position, then I'm going to uh, palpate the, the landmarks. So it's gonna be uh, the olecanon process of the ulna and the styloid process of the ulna. Then I'm going to align the goniometer with the, with the landmark. So the fulcrum has to be over the olecanon process and the proximal arm will be perpendicular to the surface and the distal arm has to follow the, the landmark of the ulna, the lecron process and the steloid process. Then I'm going to remove the goniometer. Before remove the goniometer, we have to uh, read and record the, the, the measure for the, the starting position, which is uh, zero, zero degrees. So I'm going to remove the goniometer. I'm going to uh, perform the passive range of motion Then I'm gonna replace the goniometer. And I'm gonna align the goniometer with the, with the, with the anatomical landmarks, fulcrum over the, the olecanon process. The proximal arm has to be perpendicular to the surface. And the, dis, the distal arm has to be uh, with the anatomical landmark, the olecanon process, the steel process of the ulna. So then, I'm gonna read and record the number. The number is gonna be like uh, 90 degrees. So I'm gonna remove the goniometer. I'm going to return the patient to the uh, starting position. And this is how to measure uh, the, the range of motion of the external rotation of the shoulder. Thank you.